This is Miss Smith's Math Tutorials. I'm Miss Smith. In this video, we're going to be talking about geometric sequences. So in the last video, we talked about arithmetic sequences, and that was adding or subtracting patterns. Geometric sequences is multiplying patterns. So we know that whatever pattern we find, if it's geometric, it's going to be a multiplying pattern. So let's just dive right in. We're also going to have our recursive formula. That doesn't change. Our explicit formula, instead of being the y equals mx plus b, like it was in uh, our previous formula. Now, when we're talking about geometric, it's going to be y equals a times b to the power of x. So that's that new formula that we've been working on this unit. Um, so just, just keep that in mind, that that's the major difference between the geometric and the arithmetic is, is our pattern and also our explicit formula. And for fun, we're going to find the 10th term. So in the previous video, we found the 25th term. You'll find that when we have a multiplying pattern, our numbers get very big very quickly. So, you know, which is kind of the point behind an exponential formula. So... This time, instead of finding such a large number, the 25th, we're going to go with the 10th. It's still going to be a pretty big number, but a little more manageable. All right, so let's dive right in. Let's figure out the pattern here. So we're going from 2 to 4 to 8 to 16. Okay, so some of you immediately go, okay, I'm multiplying by 2 each time. And if you see that, that's great. Okay, to go from 2 to 4, we're multiplying by 2. 4 to 8, we're multiplying by 2 and 8 to 16 we're multiplying by 2. But let's just pretend that you didn't see that. If you did see it, you didn't, okay? How could we figure out that pattern? Because sometimes it's a little trickier when we're talking about multiplying than just adding or subtracting. So what the, the easy thing to do to figure out the pattern when we're talking about geometric is to go from this number to this number. Okay, and it's geometric, so we know we're multiplying to go this way. So let's go this way by dividing. So let's do 16 instead of um, multiplying, we're dividing. So t divided by 8, so this number divided by the next number. And you'll see it gives us 2. Let's keep going. 8 divided by 4. It also gives us 2. 4 divided by 2 also gives us two. So that's another way to find that pattern if you weren't sure. Um, it will come in handy, you'll see in a minute maybe when it's not as clear. So for a pattern, this time we're multiplying by two each time. So our recursive formula, it's still going to have that next equals now and then the pattern. So our pattern is times two. So the next number would be the now number being multiplied by 2. Okay, uh, for our explicit formula, and I didn't note this on here like I did on the last one, um, but A is our starting point, and B is the pattern. Okay, so A will be the starting point, B will be the pattern, X will be um, once we get into 10th term. Okay, um, so for A, our starting point. So we talked about this with arithmetic sequences that if this is like the first number in the sequence and this is the second number, third number, fourth number, and so on, what would be the zero number? What would be the starting point? So if I'm multiplying by two to go this way, if I divided by two, what would I get here? And the answer is one. 2 divided by 2 would be 1. Okay, so y equals a, which we're saying is 1, that's our starting point, times our b, b is our pattern, so 2, to the power of x. And the x is what we're going to fill in when we want to know the nth term, okay? In this case, the 10th term. All right, so what would that equal? So that would be one times two, or just two, to the 10th power, and that would be 1,024. So if I were to take this out, 
10 spaces, right, from 1 to 10, the 10th term would be 1,024. See how big those numbers get very quickly? Um, so geometric, big numbers, very quickly. All right, I'm also on the pattern here. Now again, some of you might be shouting it out. Maybe you're, you're good at identifying patterns, but I'll tell you, I'm not, right? So I use this trick a lot. So I know it's a multiplying pattern, because we're talking about geometric, but I don't know what it is. And I've got decimals, so that kind of makes everything tricky, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at the end, and I'm gonna divide going backwards. So one divided by, 0.5 and that gives me 2 all right let's keep going 0 0.5 divided by 0.25 2 all right just just to solidify let's make sure this is our pattern from 0.25 divided by 0.125 2 so what do I know that, oh, sorry JJ do that again so what do I know the pattern is each time I'm multiplying by two. All right, so the dividing trick is just a way to help you figure out that pattern if it's not super clear. But remember, we always move left to right. And if it's geometric, it's always gonna be multiplying. So our pattern again is times two. All right, let's do our recursive formula. Next equals now times two. Our explicit formula y equals our starting point so what would be here if there was something there well i would need to go backwards so instead of multiplying by two i'm dividing by two so i do point um one two five divided by two and that would give me it gives you kind of a long decimal i'm going to show you guys what i'm looking at so um i did point sorry 0.125 divided by 2 gave me a fairly long decimal. I would I would rather see a fraction personally than a long decimal. So I'm going to use the trick to turn this decimal into a fraction. Math, enter, enter. So 1 16th. Okay. So if you want, if you wrote in the decimal here, that's fine. But I just personally like a fraction more. So 1 16th. All right, so what's my starting place? 1, 16, 1 over 16. Um, my B value is the pattern, so times positive 2, and to the power of X. Now, for over here, we're going to fill in that X term with 10. So Y equals 1 16th times 2 to the power of 10. And I'm going to put that in my calculator. 1 16th times 2 to the power of 10. It would be 64. All right, let's look at this last one. So we're going from two to six. So I know two times what would be six? Well, it'd be three, okay? You can start here and work backwards if you want, like we did on those two problems, um, or you can start at the front and try to just see if you can figure out the pattern. What about from six to 18? Well, I know six times three is 18. And then 18 to 54, I don't really know my 18's times tables, but a quick check on the calculator, 18 times three, will tell me it's 54. So, multiplying by three each time. So my pattern times three. My recursive formula next equals now times three. All right, my explicit formula, y equals a is my starting point. So I would wanna know what it would be here if there was something there. So instead of multiplying by 3, like I moved to the right with, I'm going to move to the left, and I'm going to divide by 3. So 2 divided by 3 would, I believe, be 2 thirds, yeah. So again, I'm going to show you this trick. I'm doing 2 divided by 3. I get this long decimal. I do not want to write 0.6666 is repeating, okay? So instead, I'm going to hit math, enter, enter. And I'd rather see it as two-thirds.
much easier. Okay, so two thirds times my pattern, B, so three, to the power of X. Go ahead and sub in, in this case we're saying 10 because we want the 10th term. If I wanted the 100th term, I put in 100. If I wanted the 5,000th term, I could put in 5,000, okay? It's whatever you want. So, 2 thirds times 3, I'm just putting this into my calculator to the power of 10. Fairly large number, 39,366. That would be the 10th term. See how big that got? We went from two to within 10 terms being at 39,366. So huge jumps there. All right, this has been Miss Smith's Math Tutorials.